what's up ladies and gentlemen we are out here on the great american well california delta uh we are out here i'm gonna try to do a little punching for you guys today give you guys everything i could think of for punching because i've been talking about it in some of my videos well on instagram mostly i will be talking about it in future videos here um punch bite's been good and so it's it's a good time to talk about it and it's gonna get good with or better I would say uh, as fall comes into play so as water temps drop more and more of these Delta bass really kind of push into the grass and feed in the grass and as well as stay warm in the grass so um, it becomes more prevalent so definitely stay tuned guys I'm gonna show you guys what I know about punching the California Delta All right, guys, so let's set this up for you. Uh, basically, the conditions today is pretty calm out. It is the middle of the day, uh, about two o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm gonna be out here until the sun probably starts going down. Uh, Cause this is the big, the big uh, rise, I guess, of the day. It's also the biggest tide of the day, uh, tidal swing. And it starts at two and I think it ends at like seven or something like that. I'd have to check my tides uh, on my Lowrance here, but basically yeah it's gonna be a rising tide all day and i like to target a rising tide majority of the time when i'm targeting a punch bite it's not there's no absolutes in it uh there could you could easily find a punch bite on a falling tide but i am just out here going to be doing the tar or the rising tide and i've been catching some decent fish on the rising tide so uh let's see if i can get it done this is a bait i'm gonna be throwing right here starting with uh, i got a one and a half ounce punch weight and it is a uh what's it called all of a sudden i'm drawing blank on this color all of a sudden uh of the d-bomb it's a super bug that's what it's called super bug and it's like a green pumpkin blue flake and we're gonna see if i can get bit on it and i'm starting out punching what most people i don't even know if they'd even call this punching uh it's low tide right now so i am flipping grass basically um you still pretty you still need a pretty decent sized weight in order to do this technique so i guess i would consider it punching still um but yeah i'm using a one and a half ounce to get through pretty easily but uh this is brazilian waterweed uh otherwise known as kind of like hydrilla same family and stuff it definitely acts as a filtering grass it has filtering properties that's why you'll see it kind of mucked up at times and they get in it and what i'm doing is i'm kind of looking for points in this right here i'm trying to see if i can find an area where it sticks out a little bit further and is as a little bit of a deeper mat than the rest of the the mat itself which i see some spots coming up here that should have some uh a little bit more water underneath them Every once in a while, I'm gonna throw a punch back in there a little bit. The tide is starting to rise, so they will start moving in. There'll be a point throughout the night here where they are just gonna be in it and they're gonna be up there at some point. Hopefully that point is relatively quick, because that'd be nice. But who knows? So I'm just really, kind of messing with different retrieves with it maybe I'll, I'll throw it in here and just let it sit on bottom just hold it tight and let it sit on bottom for a second see if they chase it down and then maybe start bouncing it bring it up let it fall back down I'm trying to get that reaction out of these fish that's really what you're doing when you're punching you're not I mean you're getting them you know they could be feeding in the area but majority of the time you're getting a reaction bite out of these fish they are it's seeing it come by their face so quick 
that they have no choice but to hit it or they're gonna miss that meal. So they don't know if it's real. They don't need to know if it's real. All they know is that they need to hit it right now. Otherwise it's over. <laughs> so that's kind of what I think it goes through. I mean, they don't really think about it. It's all just instinct. And so that's what's kind of cool about bass fishing. You really kind of, you start targeting primal instinct of, of predators and I guess it makes you feel like a more supreme predator. I don't know. It's more fun though. <laughs> Trying to get some punch footage on chest cam for you guys. I've already caught a few punch fish today. I got one in the box right now. It's uh, about four pounds, but you know, I didn't have my chest cam going. And uh, I was also on a different part of the delta. I was fishing the falling tide quick. Oh! Dang it! On the hop. Dang it. That was a bite. Lame. I wanted to pop it. That was kind of a, a kind of a, uh, not a really cool bite. It was uh, not a traditional one either. I, I fell in the mat, I went straight to bottom, didn't get bit, and I hopped it. And right when I hopped it, it didn't go back down to bottom, but there wasn't much, you know, distance for it to go back down to bottom. So when I I was about to hop it again. I think I might have actually hopped it. I don't even know. I damn near shook it out of that fish's mouth. Because it wasn't like a, a normal bite. There was very little, little feeling on that one. That's okay though. Probably a giant, because all they do is all they do is smack their lips on your line because they eat your whole freaking bait. And that's how I do my that's how I miss my fish right there. Is because I never I never miss small ones. I always miss the big ones though. It's always like that for me. 10 pounders, what are those? Stupid. I'm on. Oh my goodness, criminy. Fish smoked it. Dang, they're just not eating this color. Might have to switch colors here. So two bites, two missed fish. Tells me this color might be a problem here. Which, I mean, I don't know. This color's been kind of hit or miss. So it could be the color. Could just be me sucking. I was really quick on that last one. I don't understand how I missed him. There we go. That's. There we go, finally got one. That's why they're this size. Hey, oh my goodness, what is happening? Hey, chill, chill, chill. Dude, do you ever stop? Golly, you're like a striper. Look at that little dude, giant. All right, folks at home, we are at our next spot. Looks great. <laughs> Little dude. 
dude. And, oh my goodness, no, 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 no. Go back into your home. Okay, new spot. See if we can get them. Good depth. That little dude. God, the first freaking, what, second punch? <sighs> Another fat little dude. Just nothing big yet. All right, guys, so a little trip update. Uh, I've caught a few, I mean, multiple fish, a uh, bunch in so far. Nothing really out of the highest in yet, which is kind of weird. Uh, I've gotten a few bites, but they're definitely short striking it. Might have to go see if I can punch some other stuff, but I'm gonna stick with the highest end for a little bit longer, especially with the tide rising. Hopefully they turn on and uh, can get them going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Keep having cameras, batteries die on me. We are still punching, still struggling to get a big bite. Um, Right as I say that, it's not a big bite, but it's a bite. God, they are just right in the very top of this mat, these mats. I mean, they are nowhere near the bottom of them at all. guys i think that about sums it up um didn't catch any giants but caught a good amount of fish uh only punching that's all i did this afternoon uh flipping grass and punching um, biggest one i got was actually before i started the video so uh four pounds was the biggest one i could get and uh i'll post a clip of the catch if i got it on camera i don't think i got it on chest cam but um i did get it on i think whatever the other GoPro I got out is. So um, I'm tired, I'm beat, I've been out here all day and uh, just trying to make this video for you guys. I'm gonna link all my equipment down below, like punch weights, hooks, baits, rods, reels, all that good stuff. Camera gear maybe, even boat stuff, I don't know, we'll see. Um, depends on how much time I got. But I'm gonna give you guys all the equipment I use today in today's video. So if you guys are looking to purchase or whatever that, you know, whatever you guys wanna do, um, it'll all be linked in the bottom of this video. Um, if you guys got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section and uh, I'll answer those as soon as I can. But uh, with that being said, guys, I think that is it. So, catch you guys in the next one. See ya.